This week on QDL, we have Dennis Fan from Nikon Metrology. He's their senior technical sales engineer. And he's going to be showing us the LaserTech uh, Optelix Hybrid Confocal Microscope. Uh, so very interesting product. Uh, you want to hear about this, so join us in 30 seconds. Welcome back to Quality Digest Live. QDL is your weekly look at who and what is making news in the world of quality. I'm Dirk Ducharme, Editor-in-Chief of Quality Digest. And once again, back in our studio is uh, Dennis Fenn from Nikon Metrology. And Dennis, you're going to be showing us an uh, uh, interesting product, a uh, confocal microscope from, uh, uh, from uh, LaserTech. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. Um, well, what's, what's the connection between LaserTech and Nikon? Uh, Nikon has a distribution agreement with uh, LaserTech to uh, market the LaserTech in North and South America. Okay. Before we get into this, just explain to people who might not know what a confocal microscope is. A uh, confocal microscope sections the light in Z, and it scans and uh, collects point cloud data that you can display in pseudo color, or in this instance, because it's a white light confocal in real color. Okay. All right. And tell us about the laser deck. Uh, I'm sorry, op Optelix, right? Uh, it's a laser tech system, uh, Optelix Optelics model. Okay. Yeah, uh, it is a hybrid. So th what that means is that I can do white light confocal, I can do laser confocal, uh, interferometry, spectroscopic reflectometry. I can do wavelength selection with this system, uh, and because it does have a three chip CCD, I can image in any one of those three sensors to uh, to get better results than I might do if I just image in some other wavelength. Okay, uh, so uh, show us how it works. Okay, it's a fairly simple as a basic. So with the confocal microscope, like I had mentioned, you're going to be sectioning in Z. So this is the expert mode, so I have all the features and functions available to me. So I'm just going to go down to the bottom of my scan range. That's my down setting. Scan up through the uh, top of it. That's up. And I can either set my resolution or my scan time. To make this quick, I'm just going to do a 10-second scan. It'll run through in Z, and you'll see that sectioning through as you move up. Okay. This is a nice sample because it's a it's a spherical surface, so you can see the the optical sectioning as it comes up through that Z scan. So range. it's moving a tiny bit, taking a measurement, tiny bit taking a measurement. Is that is that what's going? That's on? correct. Okay. So yeah. That's what you meant by sectioning. It's just sectioning in Z. In yes. Z. Okay. Got yeah. It. So what we have on the screen right now is the all in focused image. Obviously, this is a defective sample. It has lots of uh, particulate and stuff on it, which you can clearly see. Everything's in focus with this image. As you can see right here, I'm displaying the 3D image of that uh, all-in-focused image that we displayed. Okay. Um, we can uh, display this in many different ways. I can change the, uh, the lighting, the texture. I've got many different parameters here that I can choose. Um, right mouse click, I can change the, uh, the pseudo angle of the lighting so I can highlight different features if I want to. Um, you notice that this image is, is really super clear. That's because of the Nikon optics that LaserTech uses on their system. Okay. We've had a, a long relationship for many, many years. Okay. And uh, on, on your 3D image right there, so you can you can slice and once you have that image, you can slice and dice it any way you want. It's a, right? it's a 3D point cloud, so okay. I can I can display it in pseudo color like I have here. I can do okay. true color because it's a white light confocal. Um, you know, I can I can slice it in, in horizontally, vertically, um, in Z. You've right. got all that point cloud data so that you can you can slice it any way you want to. Okay. Okay. And what what kind of measurements are people doing? Are they, is it is it uh, dimensional measurements or particle counting or uh, a little bit of all? Mainly, what the confocal microscopes are used for is uh, is z height oh, measuring okay. because okay. with uh, with the hundred x you, you have ten nanometer resolution in z. Okay. Uh, so you get very precise z measurements. Uh, and then also surface roughness is a very nice application for this for this tool. So it's it's high resolution enough that you can do surface roughness measurement. Correct. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> All right. Um, so why is this? Why is the LaserTech uh, Optelix Hybrid uh, unique in, in the market? What's its kind of differentiator? I guess the big thing is it's a white light confocal. Um, so you can you can actually get true color imaging out of this system. And that can be useful if you want to do live confocal. Okay. Um, but it's also very unique because it's a hybrid. We can put all those different types of features and functions onto this system so that you get an all-in-one tool. Okay. You don't have to buy, you know, a surface profiler, a, a, a thin, a thin film uh, measuring system, uh, or a confocal microscope. It's all combined in one. Well, okay. I mean, speaking of thin films, I mean, 
you mentioned that you can measure thin films with uh, with this device. So, um, what ki- is, is there a limit to what kind of films or film thickness well, or? It has to be it has to be transparent so we can see through it. Okay. Okay. Um, but other than that, with confocal, we can get down to about three microns in thickness. Wow. Okay. With interferometry, down to about one micron. Wow. And if you go below that, we use spectroscopic reflectometry to measure films below that one micron level. Okay. So as a person who came out of the semiconductor industry, is this, is this a popular uh, type of product in the semiconductor industry for very, films? Very, very popular. You can okay. see that we have a six-inch wafer chuck on here oh, right okay. now. Oh, okay. Well, there you so, go. <laughs> yeah, it's very widely yeah. used. Our two yeah. big markets are semiconductor and medical device. Okay. And um, you mentioned that that to measure films, they have to be transparent, right? I mean, you, you, you couldn't measure o- opaque films. Oh, right. If we can't. Because, because you've got to be able to look We have to through transmit it. through the light. If okay. we can't get through it, then we can't and see it. And then it's somehow able to see both, even though it's a transparent material, it's able to see both the top surface and the bottom surface. You can, see that, you can surface. see that interface, yes, sir. Wow. And, and is that, I mean, not to get too wonky on this, but is that is that interface just the difference between air and whatever the surface is? Or, I mean, how does it... Uh, well, there, there, if there's an index difference between that that, uh, oh, okay, trans, okay. that that film and a layer below, you'll be able to see that. If they're the same uh, index, then it gets a little bit trickier. Oh, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Okay. Um, can you measure, what we, we were looking here earlier was a single field of view, so can you measure across multiple, I guess, multiple fields of view? Does that make sense? We can. With this system, uh, it comes standard with a uh, stitching uh, program as part of the uh, LMI, so you can stitch multiple fields of view together, and then take and, and well, th- and then you get the entire, you know, like a three by three, a five by five, okay. stitches that entire multiple fields of view together for one image. So it would it would start with one field of view, create an image, then move, create another uh, uh, another image, yes. and then stitch all those together. That's correct to great, create a larger field of view. Right. Okay. Um, anything uh, anything unique about the the software? Anything that runs this? Uh, this does have unique software, uh, which is a, an option to the system called Libra. Okay. Uh, it gives you some of the same capability that you would see on our vision system, okay. where it has pattern recognition so that it can recognize a feature, uh, shift the calipers to the right position okay. so that if you don't have a precise fixture, you have a, a cell pack or something where the parts may not be perfectly right. perpendicular to the optical axis, you can still capture that that corner, that that feature on the part, and then the calipers are moved to the correct location. Okay. And you know, this, this is a manual stage? This is a motorized stage. Oh, the, oh it is a motorized yeah, stage. Yeah, this okay. right here is a 6x6 six six motorized okay. stage. Okay. So, so, so when you bring in, when you bring in your, your, your pattern, it can recognize it and align it. Uh, it aligns it, what, in, in software? It, it does. It's a software okay. feature. So it doesn't try to rotate the... the no, it, okay. it doesn't, you know, it, move the stage. Okay. It, it'll be in the field of view and then move the... The, the field of view will, will move the calipers to the correct location so that it takes a measurement in the right spot. Okay. So besides the semiconductor industry, where else uh, do you see this being uh, a valuable tool? That's uh, widely used in multiple different industries. We've sold this to industrial customers, to medical device customers, to semiconductor customers, aerospace, automotive. Okay. It's really all over the place. All right. Um, anything else you want to add about that? Um, well, the, the laser tech is, it, like I said, is unique uh, in the market being that I can combine those different features in this tool. Okay. Typically, when we sell a unit, it, the, the customer may select kind of the basic system and then maybe one or two features. But we uh, sell these with multiple different objectives depending on the application, different packages as far as which options you may have on the laser tech uh, so that it makes it a very useful tool for you. And, and it, uh, what, about, what about output? So you've collected all this data and so forth. Is, is that is it normally used just for inspection right there on the spot, or can the data be output and then uh, it does like uh, else? like most other software that's out there, we can export it out to an ex- a formatted Excel spreadsheet, a okay. PowerPoint, a CSV file. Uh, there are some three D uh, point cloud uh, f- file formats that we can okay. export to, so you can import it into other software packages. Okay. Well, Dennis Fan, uh, thanks for coming out here, showing us the LaserTech Optelix uh, Hybrid.
Correct. You got it right. Thank Three you. Names. I, I actually sure got it all right today. Uh, uh, thanks for joining us, Dennis, and uh, thanks for the folks at Nikon Metrology for coming out and bringing their equipment into our studio. Um, if you want more information on any Nikon product or on the uh, LaserTech Optelics, you can go to the link underneath our player page out there and get more information on it. Contact Nikon uh, about whatever products you see on Nikon Metrology's website. So thanks for joining us today, and we will see you at the next QDL. So long.